Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to take a big picture look at the workbench. First, we'll look at opening the workbench. Then we'll look at checking tasks in and out. Then we'll look at the menu and the working area. To open the document into the workbench, just come to the name of the document and click on it. There are two ways to check out a task. You can either come here to the checkout status column, click on the icon, and once it's a check mark, it is checked out to you. You can also check it back in this exact same way. Once you have opened the task, if it has not already been checked out, this banner will come up. You can just click right here to check it out. The workbench consists of three main areas, the menu bar, the working area, and the sidebar. We will be covering the sidebar in a later video. To open the menu, just click on the three bars. As you can see, there are a lot of options here, most of which we'll go over in a later video. For now, please note there's a training guide link right here. This will take you to the documentation for the workbench. Next to that, we have the name of the phase we're in, the percentage of the phase, then we come to the time spent area. This can be started in the menu with the play button or when you save your first segment. You can click on the three dots for more detailed information. Then you come to the segment indicator. And lastly, you come to the page size selection. In the working area of the workbench, starting from the left, you can see that this is the segment number that correlates with this number up here and you can change it to go to a different segment number up at the top, but you do need to hit enter once you select the number you would like to go to that segment. This indicates the source language, and here you can search the source text. Here you can increase or decrease the text size. Here you can enable or disable the filters, and this brings up all of the filters here. This indicates the target language, and here you can search the target language, and then you can increase or decrease the text for the target here. Here, you can copy the source text to the target text on this segment. This symbol indicates the translation has been saved. This symbol indicates it was an exact 100% match from the translation memory vault. This indicates the segment is locked. You can click to unlock and this symbol indicates it was machine translated. Once you have made the changes to the target, you can click on save. When you do, it will automatically advance you to the next segment. That's all for this video. Thanks for joining us and happy translating.